What is Xcode command line tools? Why do you need it and how do you install it? This is Asia G from the Full Stack Videos channel. I have just gotten started doing coding and web development, like many of you, so these videos will be very helpful to those who are on the same path as I, as we can all learn together. If you're going to use your Mac to do software development, you'll need to install Xcode command line tools. It's easy and I'm going to show you how in this video. But first, what is Xcode command line tools and why do you need it? People call it Xcode command line tools, but I call it Apple's missing Unix tools. From the beginning, software developers have used the Unix operating system to build applications and do web development. Unix is an operating system, just like Mac or Windows, and it's also a collection of dozens of small software tools. If you're going to do software development, you're going to need Unix. You can get it by using a computer that's got the Linux operating system, which is a version of Unix. If you've got a Mac, you're in luck, because Mac OS X is also a version of Unix. There's just one problem. Apple does not provide the full collection of Unix command line tools. Apple thinks most people don't need them. But if you're a software developer, you can't do much without them. Apple gives you the option of installing a small package of Xcode command line tools. Apple also offers Xcode, which is a huge package of applications and tools for software developers building applications for the Macintosh or phone and tablet operating systems. If you're building web applications, you don't need the full Xcode package because it's huge and it takes a long time to install. Just install Xcode command line tools. It's kind of annoying that you can't do application development straight out of the box with a Mac, but it's easy to install Xcode command line tools and I'll show you how. Before I show you how to install it, you'll need to learn about the terminal application. The terminal application is sometimes called the console and it gives us access to the Unix command line. Text editors and the terminal application are the main tools that software developers use every day, all day. Find the terminal application by searching using the command spacebar combination, which Apple calls Spotlight Search. Search for the word terminal and open the application. This is a window right into the computer's operating system. When you type in the terminal, you're sending commands straight to the operating system. That is cool. With your terminal open, it's incredibly easy to install Xcode command line tools. Just enter any of Apple's missing Unix commands. For example, type GCC. GCC is a compiler that turns source code into executable applications. If Xcode command line tool is already installed, the GCC program will run and give you an error message. If Xcode command line tools are not installed, your Mac will give you a dialog box and ask if you'd like to install the command line developer tools. You'll need a fast internet connection because the software will be installed from the Apple servers. Be careful. The instructions at the alert box are confusing. You don't need to get Xcode from the App Store. The full Xcode package is a multi-gigabyte download that will take over an hour to install. You don't need it unless you're developing applications for the Mac. Just click Install to download and install the command line tools. After clicking Install, you'll see a progress bar that shows you're installing the software and you'll see a message that the software was installed. Click Done and verify that you've successfully installed the Xcode command line tools. In your terminal, type Xcode hyphen select minus P and it should show you the path to the folder where the command line tools were installed. Just to be certain, try running GCC with a version argument which is GCC space minus minus version and you should see a message that shows you the current version. Typing any of the missing commands in your terminal will give you the option of installing the Xcode command line tools. The first time you need it, you'll get all the tools. If you search on the internet, some people may say to install Xcode command line tools by typing Xcode hyphen select space minus minus install. That's just another way to do it. Typing a command like GCC works just as well. That's it. With Xcode command line tools installed, you can get set up for development with just about any programming language. I've been learning to do web development using Ruby on Rails. Check out some of my other videos for more Ruby on Rails. 
If you're a subscriber, I'd like to say I appreciate your support for the project. To get more videos like this and learn about our project, send me an email. The address is more at fullstackvideos.com. Come back for more!